Welcome back to another episode of the Bites of Bristol Barrow. We're here today at Commodore's Coffee and joining us are owners Andrew and Jeremy. Thank you for joining us today. Um, you've been a staple in the community here for, I would say, almost uh, coming up on nine to 10 years. And you guys want to share a little bit about your, your journey and what brought you to uh, historic Bristol Barrow. Yeah, thanks for having us, Steve. Um, so yeah, we're actually coming up on nine years of roasting. And um, I, we just passed eight years and being in our cafe in Bristol here. Yesterday, actually. Yesterday. <laughs> nice. So yeah, yeah. Happy anniversary. Yeah, Thank it's, you. Nice. I still live fast. Um, so I've been working in coffee for probably about 15, 16 years now. And um, what really got me into it, I first started just as a job. Um, but what I fell in love with was I like to talk about three different things. Uh, the first one I noticed is the relationship between a barista and a customer. Okay. Uh, very unique. When I started, I was really young, and I noticed right out the gate that customers automatically, just by me preparing and serving their coffee, built this level of trust. Uh, they wanted to invite me into their life, and we talk about all sorts of things: what was going on, hard things, good things, yeah, um, and just conversations that I wouldn't have had otherwise. And I thought that was really unique. Uh, and then the other thing I noticed was um, just the awesome environment for coworkers. So I had a lot of fun working in coffee, fun environment. Um, so that was great. So that, that barista to barista interaction was awesome. And then the third one that uh, really caught my attention, even as I worked in shops all around the country, was the customer to customer interaction. Um, that's probably the one that really took it home for me the most uh, because I noticed that people who would never talk to each other out on the street just by being in here. Yeah, you bring them in. They're, they're sharing a lot of yeah. conversation over, over the, you know, fantastic cup of coffee. Yeah, you know, you're coming yeah. in here every day. You're seeing the same people and you're developing these relationships. And before you know it, people are talking to each other who would never talk to each other. They're holding doors for each other. Nice. Buying, buying each other coffee. Um, and that was just like this real clear vision that like, this is something that every community needs. This really natural space for people to come together. What was it that made you choose um, historic Bristol Barrow as your community that you wanted to open the shop up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why you're laughing, but <laughs> probably because it's the last place we would have picked. But uh, no, we're so happy we're here. We it's it's kind of crazy. We were looking at other places all around the country actually, and then we we knew some people here. Um, they kind of reached out to us on a whim and told us that, that you know this town Bristol Borough uh, really needed a, a coffee shop, and they really wanted to see that happen, and so. My wife and I, we, we moved out here and, uh, you know, kind of took it a step at a time and fell in love with the town and decided to give it a go. Our philosophy is single origins only, so you'll never see us do a, a blend. Everything that we have um, is from some country in the world. Oftentimes it can be traced all the way down to the farm that it came from. Um, so yeah, we have five coffees on at all time. One of them is always a killer decaf because we think that like decaf coffee matters. Uh, especially for people who want to drink coffee, but for one reason or another can't partake. And then beyond that, we try to have coffees from South and Central America, Africa, and then also from uh, Southeast Asia as well. Okay. So I know you have, um, you offer a bird friendly bean, mm. you know, right on, on display we have here. If you want to touch on a little bit about what that means and what that does for sure. the environment. Sure. So uh, we got approached by the Lehigh Valley Zoo a couple years back, uh, asking us if we would consider roasting and offering bird-friendly coffee, and we had no idea what they were talking about. At the farm level, what's going on is farmers are preserving the natural habitats for migratory songbirds. So coffee can be grown a number of different ways, but when it's grown in the shade, you preserve these tree canopies, and so the coffee grows up along with everything else around it. It's not uncommon, though, in some places in the world to clear cut all of that and then just grow coffee plants. We're paying a premium on this coffee to help preserve this line of work, this industry, this particular method and growing style that's allowing these farmers to continue to do this year after year. And it's also sustaining these bird populations as well. Okay, nice. So also on the table we have, if you're not a warm coffee drinker, we have your famous cold brew. If you want to touch a little bit about on the, uh, you know, the cold brew, how you can get it here. And it looks like you can get a four pack to go. Yeah. So we were really excited about this. This is our, probably our most recent launch. Um, cold brew here has always been really popular. Uh, and then we finally found a local company that would help us can. And so, yeah, you can now buy four packs in our cafe, take it down to the beach with you, bring it to a barbecue. Um, we also um, are selling it with some of our wholesalers in other places in Bucks County. 
And um, so yeah, it's great. It's a great option for people who don't want hot coffee. It's got a lot of caffeine. Great thing to pick you up in the morning before you go work out. Yeah. That's what I use it for. Um, I yeah. know I, I, when we had a um, St. Patty's Day event, St. Oh, yeah. Patrick's Day event down the street, um, we got a couple gallons of the cold brew mm -hmm. and uh, I turned them into Irish coffees for the day. And yeah. that was, you know. Yeah. That, that was a, a, it was a, a good time. It was a good, it was more than a good time. Yeah. 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 Hi folks, this is Ken Stefan from William Penn Bank. I want to thank you for watching this episode of Bites of Bristol Borough and invite you to please come to town and enjoy all the rich cultural aspects that you can enjoy in each of our restaurants in town. William Penn Bank is delighted to be the sponsor of this series and happy to be part of this wonderful community. So keep watching and eat well. And you are continually, are continually connecting through Bucks County. And so you're a historic Bristol Borough and you recently opened up a second location in Newtown Barrow. Yeah. Uh, you want to share a little bit about that and the, the location and all that? Yeah. Uh, you know, we were we were really fortunate. I think one of the, the mantras that Andrew and I have adopted over the years is that we manufacture our own success, that um, we're going to do things on our terms when, when and how we're ready, and we're going to look for opportunities that make sense for the unique model that we have, which okay. is, again, um, superior product, superior customer service, right? And so uh, this opportunity kind of fell into our laps and, and we kind of looked, it came at a time where we were kind of not thinking about expansion and we looked at each other and we were like, we have to do this. We can't yeah. not do this. And so yeah. we're, right on, we're right on State Street in uh, historic Newtown Borough. And, and it's just a, it's a beautiful location. We actually inherited it from a previous coffee shop um, that, was, that kind of decided they were, they were content with the, the work that they'd done and they wanted to be done with, with the, the, the industry and with coffee. Uh, in that regard, and, and they graciously offered to sell, and we said we, we can't pass it up. It's just a, such a prime location. Andrew's got roots in Newtown. I've grown up in Lower Bucks my whole life, and nice. so it just felt like a, a, an obvious connecting point for us and just mm -hmm. a space that we could go to and go, yeah, this is another place that, because people deserve great coffee, and I think that's the thing. We thought that like the, the Calm Waters experience wasn't just good for Bristol. We thought it was good for the world, and mm -hmm. so uh, Newtown was the next opportunity that opened up, and we wanted to give people that opportunity as well to experience, uh, as one writer I read called it, the beauty of the moment that coffee can create. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I know you um, can connect with more people that don't have the opportunity to come to your shop. I myself um, am a uh, subscriber to your bean subscription. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, we have our website. It's calmwaterscoffee.com, and uh, we try to create a space there that you know you can get our coffee for even a more affordable way uh, we do subscriptions so you get a discount on that um, and it's just kind of a way that you know we started doing that out of an attempt to bring what we do here into people's homes for those that can't make it in here so we do a, a roaster's choice subscription which is my favorite uh, that's basically a variety of everything we have right now um, but you also if you want which i think you guys do you can just pick whatever bean you want and subscribe to that I, I enjoy know. whatever bean my wife chooses. That's, that's, you know, happy wife, move. happy life. So, yeah, 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 yeah. and any bean is good. So, right. Yeah. That's that's also <laughs> something that's kind of unique about the way that we offer coffee. And I think people kind of forget this when they buy coffee at the grocery stores. That coffee is a crop and it's seasonal. And so, our coffees are always rotating. Um, okay. We don't always have the same ones on. But what I try to tell people is like, you're a month or two away from finding your new favorite coffee. And when that leaves, it's because we've kind of deemed hey, you know what, the quality isn't what it was when we first contacted this, or contracted this crop fresh, and now we want to give you something new that's going to open your eyes to how big the world of coffee actually is. Uh, I, I say this all the time to people that coffee is often the 5 to 20 minute vacation that people take every day, and it's the only rest that they get in the course of their day. Yeah. So okay. of course it matters. Yeah. Of course yeah. it's important. It's how they start their day. It's centering, and it's grounding, and it's connecting, and it's all of those things that make a human experience beautiful. And so it's important to drink good coffee. Nice. Well, Andrew and Jeremy, we're so glad that you are continually growing here in the community of historic Bristol Borough and through Bucks County. Uh, thank you for joining us here today. Um, you know, viewers at home, you want to stop by and get a real connection and a great cup of coffee, come to Commodore's Coffee. Mm. Two locations. They have an historic Bristol Borough and a historic Newtown. And uh, we look forward to seeing you uh, the next episode. Cheers. Cheers.